Hi, I wanted to show you something kind of interesting. I have it set up in the breadboard and uh, demonstrates some kind of interesting things about analog circuitry that if you're going to fool around with analog, you kind of, it's good to understand. Um, on the breadboard here, I've got two four quadrant multipliers and this is just a dual op amp and um, basically what I'm doing is I've got if I can get this in the camera here I've got an oscillator and I'm feeding both the inputs of a multiplier which basically is going to square the signal. So when the, the the triangle wave coming out of the oscillator crosses through zero, that's when the output's going to be zero. But as it moves either positive or negative, it causes the output to go up by the square. Now a multiplier can only take like 10 volts in. Well 10 volts times 10 volts would be 100 volts at the output. So no multiplier could, well I guess you could make one, but multipliers typically the output is one tenth of what the true answer is. So in this case 10 volts times 10 volts would be 10 volts. But by feeding the same thing to both inputs of the multiplier, you get it to square that. So this goes up by the square of the input. And see if, if it's a positive by a positive, you get a positive. If it's a negative times a negative, you still get a positive. Just like in mathematics. So all I've done here is take that into an inverting amplifier and add a little bias. So instead of it reaching zero when the triangle wave crosses the zero point, it's now going to read 10 volts and it's been flipped upside down by this inverting amplifier. So now you get the same exact thing, just inverted. And now with these bottom points at zero. Well, so then you feed that to another multiplier and square it. And lo and behold, you get a beautiful sine wave. So we can look at the scope over here and see there's my region. And then the next one here, that's the output of the first squaring circuit. And so then we shift and invert that signal and then I'll have to move one of the probes here and the end result is a nice pretty sine wave and all of that came square wave the kind of a neat thing that multipliers do and a lot of people don't think about using them to square things. So that's all I had. I had it set up in the uh, breadboard and I thought it would be interesting to share a little lesson in analog. Thanks. I'll see you next time.